Over the years, Japanese breeders have developed two strains of Akitas, a Japanese strain and an American strain, which are bred to different standards. The American Akita is what most people outside of Japan recognize as an Akita, whereas the Japanese Akita is smaller with boxier features and more color variations. American Akitas are more robust than their Japanese cousins, and their face look a bit less fox-like, with a more bear-like parents. The American Kennel Club recognizes both the American and Japanese strains of Akitas as separate breeds, but many other countries only recognize the American strain as the true Akita. Before we begin today's guide on American Akitas, try to like, subscribe, and then leave a comment on why these dogs are worth owning. History the American Akita is a large breed of dog that originated in Japan and is the largest of six native Japanese breeds recognized by the Japanese Kennel Club. During the Second War, many Akitas were lost. After the war, they were bred with other types of dogs, including German Shepherds. The new breed was called the American Akita. In Japan, the Akita is considered a national treasure and is protected by law. In America, it has become one of the most popular breeds in the last 10 years or so. Other names. There are two separate varieties of Akita, a Japanese strain commonly called Akita Inu, or Japanese Akita, and the American strain known as the Akita, or American Akita. The Akita is sometimes referred to as the Great Japanese Dog, or the Japanese Akita. Size. American Akitas are large, powerfully built dogs with well-developed muscles. They're slightly longer than tall, and males are larger than females. The general height of the male is around 26 to 28 inches, with females measuring at 24 to 26 inches. The weight of the male is between 100 to 130 pounds, so females are generally between 80 to 110 pounds. The American Akita is slightly longer than tall. Its head is broad, massive, and triangular in shape when viewed from the top. Its muzzle tapers towards the nose, which is black in most cases, but can be liver-colored in fawn and brindled dogs. The eyes are small and dark and deeply set. The teeth meets in the scissors or level bite. The large erect ears are triangular in shape and set high on the head. The eyes are small, dark brown, deeply set and triangular in shape too. There's a double coat with a dense undercoat and straight outer coat. All colors are acceptable except the brindle. However, pinto markings are common and acceptable. Personality. The American Akita is very devoted to his family, but he can be stubborn and aggressive towards other dogs if not properly trained or socialized. The breed needs an experienced owner who is both firm and fair in training of their strong-willed breed. This breed requires an assertive master who understands canine psychology. It does not respond well to harsh or heavy-handed methods. Some human aggression may be exhibited towards strangers or other animals, but this can be minimized through early socialization. It should not be trusted around small, non-canine pets such as rabbits or cats unless it's raised with them from puppyhood. It's generally not recommended for apartment or smaller homes due to their large size and need for exercise. Somehow, they are relatively inactive indoors. They're also a very dominant breed and must have owners who can establish themselves as the boss. Some people say they're not really good dogs for first-time owners. Pet Compatibility He'll be suspicious of anyone who enters your home and yard. He has a protective nature that makes him a superb watchdog, but he can also be overprotective of his family, especially children, so supervision when two are together is essential. The American Akita is not always easy to train because he has an independent shriek and may be willful at times. They're both playful and gentle, but also self-assured and fearless. These dogs also 
also possess a strong prey drive, it is important to keep them leash when walking them, even in non-urban areas. The best way to train an American Akita is with positive reinforcement. Be firm, consistent, and confident when training your dog. The American Akita can sense if you are timid or nervous and will take advantage of this weakness. The tail curls upward over the back or to the side of the body when it's natural or docked. However, it should not be curled so tightly that it forms a complete ring or lies flat against the back. The American Akita has a heavy plume tail that hangs down when relaxed and curves upwards when moved or alert. Aside from its powerful, noble, intimidating presence, an Akita demands respect from everyone, especially children. It has an independent nature and can be reserved towards strangers, but it's affectionate with those who earn its trust. The Akita is a loyal and loving family companion that will bravely defend its family if threatened. It is also courageous, fearless, intelligent, and dominant, which can make it a challenge to train. The Akita's aloofness makes it difficult for it to get along with other dogs or the same sex, but it will tolerate other animals if properly socialized at an early age. Family Life Akitas are loyal companions who love spending time with their family members. They're playful and they can adjust well to most family situations, including families with children of any age. This dog has a great personality. They're very intelligent and easy to train. They're very loyal and protective of their owners and make excellent watchdog. They don't like being left alone as they need plenty of human companionship. An Akita will bark to alert you of visitors but is usually quiet otherwise. They're also territorial and will take on other dogs, cats, and other animals that come into the yard. It's important that your dog knows that you are the leader of the pack. This is a dominant breed, so it's important that you display leadership from the start. Be firm and consistent with your dog training and socialization, and your Akita will be a wonderful companion for many years. The Akita needs an owner who understands canine behavior. These dogs require strong, confident leaders who understand how to display themselves as such. These large dogs do need plenty of space for exercise. However, if you live in an apartment or condo, forget this breed for now. Children Compatibility The American Akita dogs are good with children, especially kids who are old enough to know how to behave around dogs. They need early socialization with other dogs in order to recognize normal dog behavior and not become fearful of other dogs when they're older. Early socialization with both people and dogs will help them learn to behave appropriately around others. Owning an American Akita dog Despite its fearsome appearance, the Akita is a lover, not a fighter. They're one of the most affectionate breeds and love nothing more than to have their backs rubbed and given treats. They're very loyal and devoted to their family, but can be aloof with strangers. Their protective instincts mean that they will bark at any strange noises or movements, making them excellent watchdogs. They're also extremely intelligent. This makes them very easy to train, but it also means that they will try to take control if you let them. That's why it's essential that you show leadership from an early age so that your dog understands who is in charge. A well-trained Akita may obey your commands and get along well with other pets and children in the home. An untrained Akita can become destructive or aggressive towards strangers, other dogs, or anyone. Before we go, so do make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any doggy related content from us. That's all guys. See you in the next one.